Alright guys, Amazon just delivered this box right here and as you already saw from the title, this is gonna be the Zapiti or Zapiti 4K SE um, media player. So yeah, let's get into the box and see what's inside. Alright. So, I'm kinda shooting this video with my one hand, so bear with me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, it's actually smaller than I thought. Okay. All right. Oh, very heavy. So, guys, this is it. This is the Zapiti One SE 4K HDR. So, if you could tell from the box, it's got 4K display HDR dual HDMI 3D HVEC that is the H2.6 uh, 265 that's a coding um, smart server over here and Wi-Fi 5G MKV files basically just your basic you know setup functions and all that um, there you go I can't wait um, so if you've seen some of my previous videos, you would re realize that um, I bought the LG UBK90 or UBK uh, M9 to play my files, but honestly, I don't own a lot of uh, CDs, so basically what I do is I stream my movies and that wasn't gonna help because it wasn't playing a lot of uh, my files so this is gonna be a top uh, box uh, streaming media so this is like the perfect uh, uh, set top box for uh, you know watching movies and like I said earlier on um, mostly is because of Dolby Atmos I wanna experience Dolby Atmos and you know I'm building up my um, home theater so alright let's get into the box so let's pop it out from here and I think this opens up this way okay this top opens up from there okay alright this is decent it's very clean I didn't know it was this small. All right, okay, let's check this guy out. I think this is gonna be all the cords and um, uh, yeah. Let me let me cut it open from there. Mm. Okay. Okay, so we are greeted with um, a remote control. Let me take it out of the you know, plastic. It's not too bad, kinda. Let's see what type of batteries. So the double A uses two batteries. Okay, let's put it on the side. Um, this is the cord, the power cord. Oh, they, okay, they throw in some adapters just in case if you are in international or a different location. Okay, cool. Uh, what is this here? Um, I think it's like the uh, remote Bluetooth antenna. Okay. Another power cord, uh, power adapter. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, okay, this is the detachable antennas. Nice, 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 there's two of them. Um, this is the, the LAN cable, Ethernet cable. Okay, and um, HDMI, I think it's high-speed HDMI. Okay, good. All right, now, let's see. It's got a quick setup manual. Cool, cool, cool. 
crew. We'll dive into all that in a little bit, but um, yeah, let's picture the unit itself. All right, let me take this guy out. And I will, um, I will leave the link in the description if you want to grab one. If you want to set up your your home theater to make it look nice and enjoy some movies in with HGR10 and Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, um, yeah, just follow uh, follow my channel. I have some videos coming. Like I said, I love shoes. I love to talk about shoes, but um, I also love tech. And every now and then I'll just do a, video, a tech video and you know talk about things like this nature all right so it's got the antenna um, so this is this uh, this model is just a little bit different from the Zapiti S1 this is the SE uh, model so you've got your both antenna parts over here um, some coaxials optical optical port over there uh, let me see if the camera can focus mm. all right okay so you've got two USB 2.0's um, USB type C USB 3.0 this is what I'm gonna use and connect my external hard drive uh, this is the LAN Ethernet port um, HDMI in this one HDMI out only so some people who have like an old um, uh, receiver or amplifier um, that cannot get the 4k content what you can do is you can connect actually two HDMI's this one will go to the TV and um, uh, this one is just for the audio only if you have um, uh, I mean this the main one is going to the TV and the, the dedicated audio only is gonna go uh, to your old receiver that is if you cannot access um, uh, if you don't have the 4k capability on your um, your your receiver so on the side we've got some more HDM um, um, USB 2.0 uh, SD uh, SD MMC card and you've got the air units the vents right here um, in the front is the beautiful Z finish you know uh, let me see damn I, I dropped it yeah so the Zapidi one uh, yeah 4k SE and it's got that Z uh, logo over here on the sides over here uh, this is like where you can put in your internal um, hard drive the H HHD or HDD hard drive I plan on uh, getting uh, I think they say you can put up to 16 terabyte in there so that's what I'll plan on getting I will wait until I get a decent one on sale and I'll, I'll put it in here so that I can uh, you know um, put all my files on there but other than that it's a very solid um, unit very small um, decent clean the build quality is top-notch um, I must say it looks very very rigid and solid so let's power it up and check out some of the menus and the features alright so it's been connected and you need two HDMI cables high-speed HDMI cables to connect as you can tell from the screen it is downloading an update right now um, so yeah um, let's wait until it's done one of the HDMI is connected to the main that one goes to the back of your TV and then where it says audio only that goes to the back of your receiver so you actually need two HDMI's for the setup all right, let's finish, uh, let it finish updating and then we will take it from there. All right, so it's booting up right now. It's finished um, updating and it's booting up right now. You could see that big Z 
in the middle of the screen uh, let's see how the functions work all right so a few settings here and there um, just a few configurations the remote control is not sensitive at all it is okay but it's I think it's just a, it lags a little bit all right now that I have done some updates and settings let us jump into some videos and then check it out this is the main page that comes out it's got three major uh, settings right here you can add some to it as you could tell I did add the settings uh, to the bottom but I can uh, also take it from there yeah all right Alright, so before you can even watch movies from your local decks, um, you have to register the device. It's not even to use it offline, you have to register it and then from then you can add your folders to it and um, so you can watch some movies. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm basically just adding um, movies to folders so that I can access it um, in the movie file it's a little bit it takes it takes a little bit of time and getting used to uh, with the setup it's um, you have to know what you're doing it's not as simple as it seems yeah okay alright I've added quite a few number of um, folders so now let's get into it and see how it looks like so right now what it's doing is it is searching my local media drive and adding content on it so um, Zapiti will, will search its database and create like thumbnail pictures for it and um, kind of like make it into like a library so that's what's happening it's taking a little bit of time but uh, surely hopefully it's gonna finish pretty shortly yeah alright guys so after using the Zapiti uh, 4k SE one player for a while um, I'm gonna have my final thoughts on it um, it's a truly great player as you can see let me go to my local my local drive and I have the elements I have you know pre-arranged my files um, let's go to all movies let's play something something over here um, uh, for instance, let's do um, let's do uh, all right. So let's choose uh, John Wick, chapter three. So when you go into the movie section, it creates a nice, beautiful thumbnail and uh, face. Um, see it brings out a picture of the um, album act the movie album act and it tells you the file size the formatting the duration the directors everything it pulls it up and this is something very very major that um, Zapiti um, um, did that it's it's amazing it's beautiful you know it's got that Dolby Atmos on there and it's 4k HDR it gives you all the information for the movie and I think it's that is that goes a long way so let's just play it let's play it and see how it um, looks like um, so straight out of um, I was playing it earlier on um, when you when you play the file it looks exceptionally crisp like you know um, the 4k HDR the movie scripts and um, the Dolby Atmos is amazing 
okay it plays everything that you wanted to do the files the codecs and everything all right all right cheers okay so final thought the Zapiti 4k se um, HDR one um, is it the best player out there on the market it depends it depends on what you want it to do for you so um, I know previously um, and, and, and this is my honest thoughts I am no expert on the audio video but I know enough you know I know a little bit of it to get along just fine um, so final thoughts um, is it the best play out there like I said it depends on what you're looking for if you want to sway away from the traditional decks like CD CD players then uh, of course this is this is the best player out there it will play all your media files all your music files that you have backed up on a uh, on a pen drive or hard drive it's gonna play every format out there um, it, it's gonna play X fact format formatting uh, uh, for 32 uh, NTSF NTFS all that format and then all the movie files like the MKV the AVI every file out there that you can think of the Zapiri uh, um, players are gonna play those formats so that is kudos to it and it is also the only player out there that is ISF certified their flagship model which retails for like a thousand dollars it hosts like two front slots for internal hard drives and which is crazy it's amazing each one of them can upgrade to like I think 16 terabytes so you can have 32 terabytes of internal memory um, crazy 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 and then you can also have like a server host if you want to do the SNA it's it, it's amazing it, it's it does everything you want it to do if you don't want to go the traditional way of having like um, a regular CD player but then some people previously some people have also challenged that uh, the Oppo the Nvidia you know several players out there the Dune all of them do fine but yeah the Oppo was like a thousand or two thousand dollars which played uh, almost every file out there and also plays a CD but for the price point um, this uh, player that I'm, I'm reviewing uh, sets it sits at uh, 350 bucks which is amazingly crazy for the for the amount of stuff that it can do uh, so by far if you don't want to play CDs and all that then I think you should get one of these because it plays Dolby Atmos sound crisps um, the only thing it, it, it has room for improvement don't get me wrong um, by far right now it's the best on the market but it, is it the greatest no it has room for improvement uh, for instance they can they can do the Dolby Vision um, I did read some reviews and they said Dolby Vision uh, they're gonna release a model that's gonna feature the Dolby Vision uh, um, somewhere in the middle of the year 2020 but mind you this video has been shot in uh, um, uh, January 26 um, 2020 so um, let's hope for that video to come out I mean let's hope for that uh, brand that version to come out if you are like looking up to getting a Dolby Vision but the HDR10 it's not bad at all it plays 4k in HDR10 which is crisp and amazing if you have like a 4k TV that uh, can play that format you are good to go you are good to go I'm playing mine on um, the LG NanoCell 86 uh, NanoCell so the picture quality is crisp and it's amazing I am glad that I purchased this um, but yeah uh, one thing too that I want to mention is the remote the remote has a backlit which is um, really really great it's a it's a clean uh, um, I feel like most TV and most uh, devices don't have the backlit but uh, um, Zapiti did very well with this the only problem I have it with it is the response time it has a small lag maybe they can fix it with an um, maybe a software update I don't know but yeah that is also one thing that um, they can improve upon but other than that Zapiti uh, a range of products plays every file out there it does everything like I said I have reviewed some of them the Nvidia and um, all other 4k media streaming 
products out there this is by far the best the apple 4k tv can't even compete with this they mentioned that they play dolby atmos and dolby vision and all that but when you test it with a, a external hard drive or files on an external it doesn't play those and even the coding it's not even at par with what the Zapiti uh, can do. So uh, if you want to pick one up, just go check it out. Um, the, the best player out there, depending on what you're looking for, and is it the greatest? Um, not yet. It has the potential though. All right. Go check out some of my other videos if you haven't done so already. Uh, like I said, I'll be featuring some tech videos on my channel. My channel primarily is for sneakers, but I love tech and I know a little bit about tech, so I will talk a little bit about tech uh, stuff in the near future. All right. Until I see you next, peace out. I used to